What's up, beautiful people? So are you tired of spinning your wheels uh, with workout after workout? If you're like me and you've worked out for a long time, you've tried different things and you've kind of stalled or plateaued in your progress, or you haven't really felt motivated, you kind of just felt like blah, you haven't seen enough results to convince your brain that what you're doing is worth it. Tune into this uh, 90 Day Hypertrophy project, which I've been participating in. I'm gonna take you through a workout today. Um, this is week five. Focus specifically on time volume training on density. So this is focused on volume and density. Before I hit the specific time time uh, density sets, I'm doing five sets, four, I think four sets here actually, of 20, 25 reps on this leg press. I've already worked my legs out twice this week. This is just an extra little primer because I want to kind of slightly preferentially focus on my legs. And I find doing this at the beginning of the workout really helps prime the other muscles for growth. Gets uh, my norepinephrine, my adrenaline. Uh, my cortisol released enough in circulation to really help the growth hormone response. But anybody who's done this type of training knows that this is a lot harder than it looks. I'm um, taking 20 to 30 seconds rest in between, just showing you snippets on um, this leg press. This is the hammer strength eight squat. One of my favorite leg presses ever. It, it's a crazy overbuilt machine, but it just hits the legs perfectly, uh, especially with bands on it. The bands on it just make this thing uh, probably one of the best movements you could ever do for full body development in a safe fashion without having to no no. on your spine. So then we move on to the time volume sets. This is the deal, guys. I have my stopwatch. I start my stopwatch, and I'm doing back-to-back uh, -back giant set exercises for a specific set of time. So I think I do five or six sets on the shoulder press. I love doing cable shoulder presses kneeling. I start with my hands really wide. I'm not focusing on the triceps by doing full extension. I'm focusing on feeling the entire muscle. This particular movement hits the triceps amazing. Then I'm doing just a, sh a shorter range of motion upright row with a cable. I do this for seven or eight minutes straight back to back to back to back. And then I move on to a superset from a facing out to a facing in the Cybex kneeling uh, lateral raise. Probably one of the better kneeling lateral raises that's uh, underappreciated. Again, I'm, I'm focusing on seven to eight minutes of straight back to back to back to back sets, as oh. many as I can each time. Uh, so instead oh. of timing it and doing just a cluster, it's just like all out as many reps as possible, back to oh. back to back to back under a certain amount of time. Um, shoulders need a little bit more stimulation. They're slow twitch yeah. fiber. So honestly, I just find uh, they get they grow better when you do uh, this type of training than, than just heavy, heavy pressing, which uh, most people have been trained to do. Moving to uh, antagonistic uh, movements between biceps and triceps. This is a uh, hammer curl with two ropes on a low cable. Great, great movement. I'm doing five or six minutes of this particular movement back and forth with a tricep movement I'm going to show you in a second but this is just a great underutilized movement that hits the uh, brachialis really well um, I just find this is a better feeling on a cable than it is just doing hammer curls with a dumbbell and then I superset that with a 60 degree tricep cable extension uh, I've been playing around with this new tricep attachment I have it's the Fortis Fitness tricep attachment honestly probably the best attachment I've ever used cable wise so I'm going to go from a reverse grip to an overhand grip to then to like a, uh, a neutral grip or a, a tricep kickback type of grip. Again, I'm, I probably got, I think I did for this for eight minutes, as many as I can back and forth, back and forth. So it ends up to like four or five uh, supersets back and forth with no rest in between. Because you're doing antagonistic muscles, uh, you can do this very well, very efficiently without needing rest in between. Again, this is a perfect angle I find to do a tricep extension rather than standing up because you, you're going from tension from full contraction to full extension. And then I'm going to focus on just a, uh, a su bicep superset and a tricep superset. This is the Watson uh, power extreme power curl bar. This really hits the, the peak of the bicep. Great with another movement. I'm doing a dumbbell topper uh, press. I'll show you in a second. Again, the idea is uh, you go from an uh, antagonistic bicep to tricep movement to a, a bicep focused only intra set drop set to a tricep set only intra set dry set. But great, great bar here. Uh, hits the biceps amazing. So I do uh, four minutes of just biceps. So it's about three or four back to back to back sets. This is showing you the dumbbell topper movement. It's a really, really cool movement. Lock your elbows in right at your side. 
and just focus on the peak or top of the bicep. Again, it hits the peak or top of the bicep well. Then we move into triceps. This is the Arsenal kickback machine. I got yeah. this recently. Just an amazing machine. Yeah. Uh, you, I do kind of a tricep kickback yeah. movement with this. It's a dip, tricep kickback feel yeah. to a straight out uh, yeah. sort of bench dip type of feel with leaning forward. This is just an amazing bench because it gives you the knobs at the end and then the bars on the side. Very simple design, but extremely effective. So again, I'm doing this for about four minutes, back to back to back, only triceps at the very end of the workout. So, hope you enjoyed that workout. I love training this way. This is my preferred way of training because of this. We're not just getting myofibrillar hypertrophy, we're getting sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. If you study the science of hypertrophy, 25 to 30% of the volume of a muscle is really based on its mineral contents, on glycogen. And when you train this way, you make your muscles a sponge for glycogen. So they swell, they crazy swell. Now for me, like, I don't wanna train in a program that makes me sit there like a Nazi and calculate every single freaking calorie, I hate that. If I was professional, if I was wanting to do this on a, on a, on a higher level, may, maybe I would do that. But I wanna, as a recreational athlete, as a home gym enthusiast, as a fitness craze person, I wanna look and feel my best, still, still be relatively lean as a natural athlete, 10 to 12% body fat, but just, you know, feel good and look good and not have to sit there and worry about what I eat and what I don't eat and what I can eat and when I can't eat it. I know my body well enough to know how it responds to calories um, and how I want to be able to be in a position where I work out so hard, there's a window of forgiveness for me to eat what I want within reason and not gain a ton of body fat. So if you want, if that's something that interests you, you want to tune into the channel, um, I'll, coming out with this 90 day hypertrophy project, um, that you're seriously going to want to try and follow. Um, another cool announcement is uh, I'm having my gym built in the spring. Well, that's probably going to be more summer because the prices of steel and the production of steel is taking forever. But 8,100 square feet, guys, it's going to be the ultimate home gym. And you guys are totally going to be invited to train there. Um, when it's done, just come to my little small town where I live. I'd love you to train and check out some of the world's best equipment. So have an awesome day.